so glad you joined for today's exciting topic, checking accounts. Okay, all right. You might be thinking, how is a checking account exciting? Well, let me tell you some ways to help you better understand what a checking account is and how you can benefit from having one and how to make a checking account work for you. Let's get started. Okay, a checking account is a type of bank account and is also referred to sometimes as a demand deposit account or DBA. What does that mean? It means you can demand your money from your bank at practically any time. You can typically access your checking account in a number of ways. On your phone, through your bank's mobile app, on your computer, through your bank's online banking platform, you can visit an ATM, you might be able to do transactions by calling your bank's automated telephone banking service, and I suppose if you were inclined, you could even make your way down to your local bank branch and access your account in person. Carrying cash around is not always the best idea because there is at least some risk you might lose that cash or have it stolen. With something like a checking account, however, you have a more financial security and you have a lot more options on how you can handle your money. Need to pay a bill? Sure. You can mail someone cash, but I'd never recommend that. Or you could buy money orders every month that cost you extra in fees, but those really aren't the best solutions. With something like a checking account, you can usually set up reoccurring payments to come out of your checking account at a scheduled time each month so that you never miss a bill. What about paying for things? Any checking account worth its weight in salt will offer you the option to obtain your very own debit card that is linked to your checking account. You'll also have the option to link your account to the debit card or something like Apple Pay or any of the other various other mobile wallets out there that you can access on your phone. Paying with a debit card can be as easy as a swipe and the same goes for paying using that mobile wallet. Okay, now how about when you're receiving money? Let's take having a job for example. You've been working hard and payday has finally arrived. Do you want to have to pay fees to a check casher so that you can access your paycheck? No, no one wants to pay fees. With a checking account, you can take your paycheck and deposit it. Done. Or even easier, you could set up direct deposit through your employer so that your pay is automatically deposited into that checking account. Oh, and let's not forget about checking account benefits, like gaining access to platforms such as Zelle, where you can quickly transfer or receive money with others right on your phone. These are all ways that checking accounts can better enable you to access your money more easily and more effectively. All right, so you now might be thinking, what's the difference between the checking and a savings account? Believe it or not, there's really not that much of a difference these days. It used to be that banks couldn't pay interest on checking accounts, but that rule's gone. It also used to be that there were restrictions on the number of certain transactions that you could do from your savings account each month. That rule was done away with during COVID-19 pandemic. What you will see is that a lot of checking accounts don't allow you to earn interest and a lot of savings accounts do allow you to earn interest. Just remember, accounts come in all shapes and sizes and the fine print matters. So whatever you might consider when it comes to a bank account, make sure you understand the account and make sure you understand what your other options are out there before you get tied into anything. Okay, now here I have a couple tips and tricks with learning about checking accounts. Number one, you can technically have as many checking accounts as you want. How cool, right? Some people prefer to manage their finances by having two checking accounts one to pay bills, and one to use for daily spending, like coffees. This is helpful for some people when budgeting. Take a look at your own finances and consider whether this concept might help your budget. Number two, don't settle for anything. Look at those fee schedules the bank gives you and learn about the checking account before opening it. Is it the right one for you? Is there a monthly fee or some other reoccurring service charge? Is there a minimum balance to avoid that service charge? How much do you need in the account? All of these questions are important for you to consider. Number three, some accounts offer rewards. Yes, there are checking accounts out there that can help you earn interest 
or your money back or cash back or a number of other benefits. Just make sure you understand upfront how the reward structure works and whatever it is you need to do so that you can earn those rewards. These are just helpful ways to make sure that your checking account is right for you. And if you'd like to learn more about checking account options that Bay State Savings Bank offers, visit us at baystatesavingsbank.com slash checking. I hope you learned at least one new thing about checking accounts today. Thanks for watching. Until next time.